just maybe another local plug. Aram Perian, maybe many of you already know, he's our operations manager at Epic. So I, I know many of you have uh, seen Epic but in a basement, laboratories, fabrication, and, and maker space. Labs downstairs, up on the fifth, sixth floor of the building next door, more of the uh, communal space, and, and, and there's a lot going on. I won't do more than that. Go visit the website, go visit in real life. Aram's happy to welcome you to Epic, uh, as we do welcome students, alumni, faculty, folks in the community. It's actually a pretty hybrid, heterogeneous environment, a lot going on. So just a, a, a quick plug. Yep. Uh, what about uh, ethical corporations? Mesh mentioned some more uh, uh, in detail uh, about um, the transition uh, maybe between groups um, and uh, protestability uh, in, in the ESP mission. So did you say truth? It's a risk really, you need to be absolutely sure that the, the companies that you're working with, um, both in terms of their idea, but also in terms of, of the people, um, you know, maintain a very high ethical standard in the way that they go about their, their business. And actually, more, more, than, more than that, so more than just the simple issue of, of following the, 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 the rules, that, 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 they, that they have a sense of, a bigger sense of responsibility about their role in society and that they want to give something back. So it goes beyond ethical considerations to being who, who want to encourage, I don't think which encourages people who want to really want to give something back and make society better and that's what that's what motivates them. In many cases far more than, than, than money does. So it is a, it is absolutely essential that you have you elaborate that. It's absolutely clear to everyone that the Standards and, 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 and your um, in terms of the way you market, in terms you know, that you don't make over claim for your business, that, that you, you, you do all of the things that you, that you should do. Does that answer your question? Uh, maybe uh, it's not uh, the same uh, about responsibility, but I have a question about profitability. smart for a company to, to be unethical. Um, that, that's the first thing. It doesn't make good business sense to be unethical. So you, you already have an immediate sense of control, if, if market control over that. And I don't know any, many people who would, who would want to support an unethical company. Now you could, you, you could get into the, the realms of which I haven't done, um, that we want to do of discussing uh, companies which
Or they might actually choose to ring fence them themselves, or they will be government officials. But essentially, there's a, there's a control because people don't want to deal with unethical companies um, on a range of, of, of levels. Um, is that the, 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 yeah. but in, it is, it's an important point, the, et the ethics of this. And the, and the philosophy is important, which is why I was talking about that. I, I do think Cambridge has a bad strike. Bringing, bringing happiness, I think, is, is a way to actually formulate it, making, making people's lives better. That, that, that should, that's probably the motivation more than money in, in, for someone like Amalia. The money would be, wouldn't complain about the money, but the, the main motivation would be to, to make society better. Um, when you get into the realms of, 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 of social inequality, that's part of the part of the drive in the UK is to encourage um, so social enterprises. Which um, I, I give you, I give you an example of my college. There's an, there's an MST scholarship which we've made available in, in social innovation at the Dutch Business School. So do you know Kate and Mary? She's one of our students, so we, we, we all tend to know each other. She's looking at um, she's creating new software. Which will, which will enable refugees of all of their different languages, um, many of them Syrian at the moment, but of course you know, refugees can, can, can be from anywhere. And she's creating a new software system to enable them to access educational opportunities uh, in the UK so that they can easily, to help them settle and help to, to, to um, forge their f future path in the UK. So it's, that, that's a, that, which is a marvelous, marvelous thing to do, I think. And actually, just to leave you with a thought, um, having said what I've finished, the, that's not, that's not for me to decide, I think. It's been a while for the hour. But um, entrepreneurship, I find that the entrepreneurship and refugees are really interesting subject, and, and I'm looking at it with the Dutch Business School. I just sent an email um, today, actually, um, looking at, at, at how we, we could encourage, perhaps, refugees coming to the UK to, to, to think about setting up a business, you know, it's going to be a lot of them will be very gifted, a lot of them will be better qualified than, than, than I am, and, and, and academically more gifted than I am, or they might just have a brilliant idea, and it would, it would start to introduce um, a positive sense of the refugee community instead of people, um, as, as, as some do, a minority are complaining about, uh, about you know, other issues relating Refugees. So the issue of refugees and entrepreneurship, I think, is really, really interesting. And I think, um, I think it would be interesting to to Armenia because I know you have you have refugees. I know that you're not far. I was looking at the map. You're not far from from Mosul, for example. And, and of course, Syria. I know is the main source of refugees here. So, yeah. But, but again, it will be that kind of the ethically driven um, social uh, social enterprise, which would be probably more, certainly more popular with philanthropists. I think philanthropists would think, oh, this is fantastic, I'd like to, to, to give to this, and, uh, and then I can make a profit somewhere else. But hopefully, yeah, maybe make a little bit of a profit from that as well, and, and these people have successful businesses, and, and, and they might be paid with. So, uh, yeah, very, I think, deep questions regarding you know, science and ethics and entrepreneurship, and that's a several more lectures uh, in the future. Uh, I, I saw another hand up, but we are running out of time, so I'll just maybe we'll give you a short thing. No, no, absolutely, because be, that's not very loud now. It's too, it's too, too loud. Um, it's, I mean, we can both answer the word, both answer this question, but no, go, or it will go all the way through to to venture capital stage, the big venture capital stage. So someone like Tom Britton could help Amali with 
with, with you know with a, with a big sum. Um, so no, it goes all the way through from the beginning of yeah, the person who turns up not knowing very much, and then people find interesting and they're they're supported in 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 the ecosystem that that Amalia described in the slide, and then all the way through to 